Okay, hey collective, so this is going to be a collective reading. I'm getting collective, like there is somebody that admires you for not giving into their like unreasonable demands. I'm getting whoever you are, you are the only one that like speaks up to this person or this person admires you because like you speak up to them. I'm also getting like, you don't tell this person what they want to hear. You tell this person what they need to hear in order to grow and move forward. For some, this could be an ex of yours that's appreciating this about you now. Wow. I'm getting like, now that you broke up with them or something like that. I'm getting whoever this individual is. This could be somebody that like expected you to like coddle them or coddle their emotions or something like that. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting whoever this individual is, this person was in some karmic energy in the past and this person knows it. I'm getting this person feels like they were a man child or something like that. Like when they were dealing with you or when you were in a relationship with this person, this person feels like, like they were a man child. Like this person feels like, wow. Okay, so this person sees you as a leader. I'm also getting like as a boss. But when you would be honest with this person, this person would get mad at you or something like that. And then this person would like try to make you feel like you were doing them wrong for like being honest with them or something. This person is realizing that they took you for granted. This person is realizing that you cared enough about them to tell them what they needed to hear. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, what's going on here? Wow, that's too many. Okay, this person may come in telling you that they regret how they treated you. Yeah, a king of cups. Or somebody could be like trying to come in with an apology. Somebody could be a water sign, but that was too many. What's going on here? Yeah, didn't look. This could be a masculine here, a king of cups. Could be a fire sign as well. Or this individual has water and fire. Highly aspected in her chart. What's going on here? Or maybe you do. What's going on here? Okay. So there is an emperor here. Masculine energy that regrets like not proposing to you or something like that. Or not making you an offer. For some, this is an offer. And for some, this is somebody like you were in a relationship with this person. This person took you for granted. What's going on here? wow okay somebody wants to wife you here that's what i'm getting and this could be somebody from your past that's want to like wife you now what's going on here that's too many okay yeah wow this person regrets being selfish when they were like when you were in a relationship with this person this person was selfish and this person knows it that's what i'm like this person knows it man look here this person has a lot to say to you. Okay. Wow. Damn. You knew what you were talking about the whole time. I'm telling you, like, this person regrets, like, trying to, like, I'm getting, like, make you feel insecure or make you feel like you didn't know what you were talking about. Like, you knew what you were talking about the whole time. And this could be in regards to some type of behavior. This person was in when you were in a relationship with them. But this person would be like, no, nah, it's not me. It's you. Like, you, like I'm telling you. And you were like, look here. I'm done. I, I don't care anymore. I'm going on about my business. You go your own separate way. I'm going my own separate way. You figure things out and I'm going to figure things out over here. Well, now this person then figured out that you were telling them the truth. For some, this could be a family member of yours here as well. Yeah. Okay. Somebody. Wow. This person could have been accusing you of like being a know-it-all or something like that. And you're not a know-it-all and you're not arrogant or prideful. Like you just know things. You could be very wise. And this person felt some type of way about you being wise. That's what, like, this person, wow. Okay, this person felt like you were talking at them or something like that. This is somebody that expected you to, like, coddle their feelings or emotions or something like that. And, like, you're honest with this person because you care about this person. You know this person has potential to be the best version of themselves here. That's what I'm getting. And, like, somebody got mad at you for telling them that. 
some somebody got mad at you for telling them that like this is somebody that wanted to stay stuck in some karmic energy and you were like trying to help this person but you let go of the situation that's what i'm getting you let this situation go what's going on here damn okay somebody's realizing that like you are oh wow i see what's going on here See, whoever this masculine energy is, and this could be a boss here as well, this person is realizing that you are not afraid to speak up to them. That's what this is. So therefore, this person is realizing they need somebody like you around them. Because this person could be surrounded around people that like coddle them or coddle their emotions. And this person is like now tired of that but i'm really getting for some in the past when people would like speak up to this person this person would be like this could be somebody that would like go up or something like that or when people were honest with this person whoever this emperor is this could be an aries but when people were honest with this individual this person would get mad at them like this could be somebody that's like a know-it-all and this person thinks that you don't know anything or thought that people around them didn't know anything. I'm getting something in regards to Aries and Cancer. Could be significant. Also Sagittarius here as well. Yeah, okay. So now somebody is in regret. Look. What's going on here? I'm also getting for some, and it's not going to be for everyone. This could be somebody that comes from like a, a very wealthy family or something like that. And this person is used to being around people that let them do, say, or act however they want to act and never correct it or never check it or anything like that. And this person could be like admire you because you speak up to them or something. What's going on here? yeah okay damn what's going on here this person regrets man look here this person regrets spying on you or something this person would this is crazy okay this person wants to communicate with you but this person is just watching you so that's why this person feels like they're spying on you because this person is just watching you and not saying anything. Wow. Okay, this could be somebody that's like trying to act like they're not watching you or paying attention to what you're doing, but this person watches you or something like that. What's going on here? <laughs> Damn, like I'm really getting... If this is some energy that you were in in the past in regards to like having an issue with authority or somebody could have been, I'm really getting something in regards to like a know it. This could be a male or a female. Like when you try to tell this person something, this person like, while I'm here and tries to tell you that you're wrong or like talks to you crazy or man, look, I don't know what this is, but you're not here to coddle nobody's emotions. That's what I'm getting like. You're not a mean person, but this person feels like you're mean because you're honest. Like, how do you, like, somebody does not like when people are honest with them. What's going on here? Yeah, like I said, for some, this is a family member that's watching you. Okay, yeah, damn. This person is mad at you. So you got a family member that's secretly mad at you that's watching you, but like you know this person is watching you, but this person does not want you to think that they're watching you, but you already know. So I don't know why this person is playing this game, but this person is mad at you for speaking the truth or got mad at you in the past for speaking the truth, but it was something this person needed to hear. That's what I'm getting. Look. Yeah, I'm not going to make this very long. Anything else? Okay. Anything else? Yeah, didn't I? What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm telling you, like in the past when you were speaking, oh wow, okay, so this person might have got mad at you and like moved away from you or you got into it with this person, oh damn, <laughs> you told this person, oh wow, 
So you were honest with this person about a karmic lover that they were dealing with or something like that. Yeah, whatever. Like somebody like in the past when you were initially telling this person about something, this person didn't believe you. That's what I'm, somebody was in denial or something like that. Yeah. But fast forward, now this person appreciates you for being honest. Anything else that you want the, the collector to know in regards to this? Okay, you also spoke about this person being in some player energy in the past. So for some, you're dealing with a masculine here, or this does not have to be, this could be a male or a female here, but somebody was in their like masculine energy here, or like you spoke on this person being a player or something like that here. Yeah, somebody had a lot of options. This king of wands had a lot of options and you spoke on this. This person got mad at you for that as well. Like, okay, wow. I'm getting whoever this individual is, this person, what's going on here? Oh, damn. This person is a player, but this person is also like, this could be a masculine energy that's like a gold digger. Okay, look here, because I already know what this is, and I know who this is. So this is a masculine energy here that's like a player had a lot of options, but at the same time, this person is a gold digger and this is a man. <laughs> this is a man. What's going on here? This is somebody that you dealt with like back in the day or something like that. Or like I said, this could be a family member of yours. Yeah, okay, this is somebody you moved away from. I'm about to end this. I'm about, like, somebody now wants to be with you or something like that because you done leveled up. Okay, so you have somebody here that's like, this person is like spoiled. That's what I'm getting. This is a man that's spoiled. This man wanted you to coddle his emotions. So you were speaking the truth to this masculine energy, but this masculine energy was in denial. That's what I'm getting here. This masculine energy also had options and could have left you out in the cold. For their options you are i'm getting like you could be somebody that's a spiritual guide here or something like that but somebody sees you as very abundant here very wise very like this is somebody that only deals with people that they feel like i'm telling you like i'm man look here this masculine energy is like counting your money now this masculine wants to deal with you or something like that because you have money now but you were really trying to help this person that's what I'm getting here. I'm also getting somebody. There could be a masculine energy that's secretly attracted to you. But this person is also mad that you have money. Wow. Okay. There could be a masculine energy that's mad that somebody that is a spiritual guide is abundant or something. Yeah, that's why I said I'm not about to keep speaking on this. And I'm not about to keep giving this my time and energy. I'm not. So I'm about to close this reading out. But yeah, somebody is watching you. I'm telling you, yeah, somebody sees you as very abundant here. But this person got mad at you for speaking the truth. And it could be in regards to like a karmic that they were dealing with in the past. Or this person was in some karmic energy. And for some, like I said, this person could be a gold digger. But this person could have money as well. This person wouldn't even give people the time of day if they didn't have a certain amount of money. This could be somebody that talked to people that were like, they felt like were beneath them. This person would talk to those people like peasants. I'm telling you. And you spoke on this, but it's something this person needed to hear. You didn't do it for a malicious reason or out of malicious intent or none of that. And this person got mad at you. This person is watching you, but this person does not want you to know that they're watching you. For some, this is a masculine. Somebody could have Aries in their chart, Sagittarius in their chart, Taurus in their chart, Cancer in their chart here. Or this is somebody's sign here or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Whoever this individual is. This person was also, this person said something to you about you being abundant or something like that. Got mad at you 
for like uh being abundant but also got mad at you for telling them that they had a karmic lover yeah what advice okay loosen your grip what advice do you have here for the collective we have living in now and we have create your own luck Okay, somebody is mad because you're manifesting and moving forward. That's what this is. And you are in your life purpose or something like that. That's what I'm getting because you decided to let go and trust the process. This is somebody that did not want to do that. Whoever this individual is, this person like wanted to stay in a karmic relationship or some karmic energy. By all means, you got every right to do that. But stop watching tarot and stop going to spiritual guides and life coaches and counselors and therapists and like get mad because they're telling you that the relationship you're in is toxic as hell. And therefore, you are in some toxic energy and you cannot heal in a relationship that's unhealthy and toxic. I mean, it's just it is what it is. That's the truth. So if you want to stay in an unhealthy, toxic relationship, just be prepared. When you watch tarot, you're going to get called out for being in some toxic, low vibrational energy. And it is not because somebody is being mean to you or somebody is like, man, look, somebody feels like you were like being mean to them. And I don't know. Singling them out or something like, come on now. Somebody could also be in a relationship with somebody and they're waiting on this person to change and do right. This person is not going to do right. But you know why this person, this individual is in a relationship with is not going to do right? Because this person that this individual is in a relationship with keeps doing the same thing to them over and over again. And they keep accepting it. So this person is going to A, get better at creeping and being this player. This could, this part, both of these individuals could be player. Like this person could be a player, but this person is also in a relationship with somebody that's a player and somebody keeps forgiving the other party. I mean, it is what it is. This person is just going to get better at being this player or this person is just going to not care about hiding their affairs. Like, because this person feels like their lover is not going anywhere. It's just, they just going to accept it and put up with it. I'm going to end it there. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you. But yeah, whoever this individual is, they cannot get mad at you. This person needs to get mad at themselves for repeatedly allowing somebody to take them for granted. But I'm going to end it there.